Hi again, this is Adam Boyce and welcome to day six and the final day of our online marketing bootcamp. Today, we're going to take everything that you've learned, put it all together for you. Specifically, we're going to talk about the marketing funnel, what it is and how you can use it to streamline your marketing efforts. Now, this is not so much a tool as a system or a strategy that my team members and I uh, use and which works extremely effectively. So, as I mentioned in previous videos, we've uh, spent our time, effort, energy, sometimes money, cold hard cash, in order to drive traffic and visitors to our lead capture page. Now, many of the people that uh, reach our lead capture page are going to decide right from the start that this is not what they're looking for, and they're going to choose to leave, and that's perfectly okay. Our goal, however, is to ensure that whatever message we uh, display on our lead capture page closely matches what people expecting to find when they get there. That way, they'll be far more inclined to uh, want to investigate more fully our product, service or business opportunity, provide us with their details, and in so doing, opt into our list. Now once a person opts into our list, they enter what is known as the marketing funnel. And if I could draw that for you, it would look just like a funnel with people entering from the wide end. So the first step into the marketing funnel takes people to what is generically known as the sales letter. Now a sales letter doesn't necessarily have to sell anything at all. It just really needs to explain to our visitors what they need to do next. Generally, however, this is in fact the place where you'll begin to explain in much more depth uh, your particular business opportunity to them. Now, it might surprise you to, to learn that very few of the people that actually make it to the sales letter are ever really ready to purchase your primary product right off the bat. Particularly if it's an expensive product, people need to take their own time, do their own due diligence and really uh, learn much, much more about what it is that you're offering and see if it's suitable for them. Um, so what does happen to people that don't purchase your primary product? Uh, do they just leave and then are gone forever? No, that wouldn't be a very sensible way of marketing at all. No, these people are still in your list and they're still within the funnel. And it's here that your list management program springs to life and takes over the important task of frequently contacting your prospects by periodically sending out those pre-written emails that you've uh, put into the list management program. Now, as we explained previously, the emails contain tips and information, links to free stuff, things that are valuable and that are, are of interest to the people on your list. Now, what's most important here is that included in each of the emails that are sent out, is there is a link to a website or to a blog in which people can become more familiar with you or your business opportunity. Uh, this is the website that does all of the hard selling on your behalf because it's here that you can go into much greater detail than you can with a single sales letter page. And people that are interested, they're going to go through that website from top to bottom. They're going to turn it inside out, uh, look into every nook and cranny and really investigate fully what it is that you are presenting and offering to them. Now, in addition to the information that you provide about your business. You can also provide people with information about your family, your life, your interests. And this is part of the personal branding that we talked about yesterday. You want people to be able to relate to you as a person, not just as somebody that's trying to sell them something. So over time, they're going to get to know you. They're going to look forward to your information. They can get to consider that you're a, an authority and the, that you have good advice and opinions on things. And believe it or not, many of these people will end up eventually becoming uh, business partners with you in your primary business opportunity. So the idea of the marketing funnel is to take a multitude of people all going in different directions with different ideas and to channel them all the way down to the end, to the narrow part of the funnel where the choices are fewer and the decisions for them become much more obvious. Your ultimate goal is to sell people your primary product. But if, uh, say, price becomes a factor there, 
then because they're in your funnel, you can uh, market to them a less expensive but similar alternative. Just like a funnel full of water in which you don't want to spill any of the drops, likewise, you don't want any of the people in your marketing funnel to fall through the cracks either. They may not be interested in your primary product, they may not be interested in alternate products, but you can market something to every single person in your funnel. You just have to find out what they're interested in and put it in front of them. And you can all along the way also be marketing affiliate products to people and creating multiple streams of income coming in for yourself. And you can imagine if you have multiple streams of income, passive income mind you, coming in, then um, that can really build and can ultimately be a substantial amount of money that's coming into you each and every month. So that's the power of the marketing funnel and it's uh, truly the basis of any successful online marketing campaign. So there you have it, the brief but complete picture on how to successfully market online or at least one method of doing so. Now, this is the last of our boot camp videos and I certainly thank you for joining me over this last six days. I hope that they have been valuable to you and that you'll take at least some of the information that I've given you and put it towards your own online marketing success. Now I've decided, even though this is the last video, to send you a bonus video tomorrow. And this is one that uh, was created by my sponsor and I think it's a great story and um, one that could potentially change your life and I hope that you enjoy it. Before I go, however, I just want to remind you that my contact details are on this page and that if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or phone me. My door is always open and I will look forward to personally speaking to each and every one of you. So until that time, uh, again, I wish you the best with your um, business endeavors. This is Adam Boyce, signing off for now. Bye.